Now, one of the candidates we introduced you to yesterday on Good Morning Utah could soon be declaring victory this morning. Suzanne Harrison appears to have won a seat in Utah's House District 32. You see right here, it covers parts of Sandy and Draper. She beat her opponent, at least that's what we're looking at so far this morning. Suzanne Harrison with 56% of the vote to Brad Bonham's 42%. You did have another candidate in this race as well who garnered less than 1%. Now, did Suzanne, congratulations here this Thank morning. Thank you. Thank you. Now, has a uh, uh, bottom call to be able to congratulate you or concede here this morning? No, not at this point, but we're still, it's a little early still. I mean, the numbers are still relatively close, but it appears like you're leading towards victory here this yeah. morning. What do you think it was that connected you with Utah voters? You know, we have been working hard ever since I ran two years ago to really connect with people in my community and listen. Our team knocked on over 30,000 doors this campaign, and I think the reason we did as well as we did is we spent the time to listen to people's concerns and I'm very grateful for people giving us a chance. So you saw last year you ran as well, or at least two years ago you ran against LeVar Christensen who decided to run for the Senate as opposed to re run for re-election here. What's interesting about that race is that you lost by three to five votes. Yeah. That was it? Yeah. This time around you've got at least a 1700 vote lead. Yes. What kept you going there to be able to run again after that close and narrow loss? Really, it was my children and the, the families in my community. We really have been in focusing on them and the needs of our kids and their future. And I think we need people in office that will work for common sense, bipartisan solutions and a focus on things that really impact families, like a great teacher in every classroom. And how do we get air quality that isn't going to make us sick because we live here? And how do we get more fair and affordable health care in Utah? Now, if you do take office here, you'll be the first time you'll be holding any political office. Yes. You mentioned your kids. Yeah. How much of they were an influence in your decision to run last time and, of course, this time again? 100%. Really, my daughter, a few years ago, she had 29 children in her local kindergarten class in her local public schools. And that really sparked a thought to me. Like, you know, we love families. We value education in Utah. And yet, our priorities in terms of, of making sure we have adequate resources for our teachers and, you know, resources for our kids is not where it should be. And I think that's my main focus, to make sure we're getting resources into the classroom and we're holding, you know, folks accountable for making sure we're giving our kids the tools they need to succeed. So education will be a big focus for sure. on your tenure here. What about Medicaid? I know that was a big support that you had for that going into these midterms. Yeah, as I'm a medical doctor, I, I'm mm -hmm. an active practicing anesthesiologist, and my patients were the other main motivator for me running. Every year they complain about, you know, breathing problems, or are they going to be able to afford to see their doctor? And I think we need people in office with new perspectives that will help bring real, real common sense solutions to address these issues. And I think Medicaid, I, I'm, I'm pleased to see that that had a good result last night because really it's about bringing $800 million of our taxpayer dollars home from Washington, D.C., and it will really give our patients the help that they need and resources to address some of these um, mental health issues and addiction challenges and just basic preventative health care, which if you get people in and get preventative care, it costs a fraction in, in the end of what it would cost if you wait till it's an emergency. And definitely those people need some help and congratulations again. Thank you. Uh, how do your voters get connect with you? Really, door to door, we, like I said, we knocked on thousands well, how do they, of How do they want to reach out to you? How do they connect oh, with you? Um, on Facebook, Vote Suze, or on our website, votesuze.com, and call me, my cell phone number is on the web, and just, it's an honor and a privilege to have the chance to represent the amazing people in my community. We have amazing families. There you go, talking with Suzanne Harrison, who appears to have won House District 32 here in Utah. We'll have more information on what uh, she's doing there as she takes office on our website, abc4.com politics. Suzanne, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. You betcha, Emily.